Good Friday, everybody. Uh, happy Veterans Day. Today's the 10th. Well, actually, tomorrow's Veterans Day. Today's the 10th, but this is the day that it is observed um, <clears throat> for holiday purposes. But uh, just want to extend all my uh, fellow comrades out there, comrades in arms. Um, I'm thinking of you all. You're all thinking of me. We're thinking of each other. We're wishing each other well and peace and prosperity to one another and to the world. That's um, so needed now more than ever. And just remember that uh, <clears throat> Major General Smedley Butler, the USMC um, Marine Corps General, I think right after World War I, um, he said, all war is a racket, and it really is. And um, if you have taken incoming fire, indirect fire, um, there is nothing more frightening than that. Nothing at all. Um, you can be hit with shrapnel, hit with a bullet. You may not even know it because your adrenaline is pumping so much that you don't know it. So all war is a racket and we see a disaster in the world because of that. Um, you know, the four years under Donald Trump, we didn't have this. So hopefully people vote better and we don't have any more foolishness. But uh, again, wishing all a um, wonderful holiday. Let me talk about this 62 Chevrolet cab right now. Okay, so here we go. Okay. <clears throat> you can see there's a lot of vice grips, a lot of clamps in here putting this roof structure the inner roof structure back together with new pieces um <clears throat> here's here's an old one right here this roof brace um got the new one right here okay i wasn't sure how this was going to go together until <clears throat> i um consulted my own videos, my own, um, um, how do I say it? My own uh, uh, content, that's the right word, my own content from the um, Chevrolet cab I did for Kevin a few years ago. This is his cab, and I referred to my own video to show this corner bracket. Now, this vehicle, the 66, was nowhere near nearly as badly rusted as this 63 is maybe a 62 i can never remember which year this one is 62 or 63 it is the wraparound windshield um <clears throat> this is a lot of uh puzzle pieces to go together how these things go on here the roof brace Right here, where to weld it, how to weld it. You know, I, I find a lot of things that people may not even um, weld it in. They may just find a way to stick it in, you know, fellow craftsmen. So I put that one in, I welded it. I took this, this front piece off and, um, you know, welded that in right underneath it, right here, plug welded it and did various clamping and screws only one screw actually right there to put it in place and to uh <clears throat> make sure it's in um now all these parts this panel and the roof uh, corner brace these are all new parts and they just started making them fairly recently and uh thank goodness i was able to secure these and put them to work put them into put them to use and uh, unfortunately there's not many videos on youtube showing just this process being done and how um the puzzle pieces all fit together and this is what it looked like um Make sure my light's on. It's not that bright. My apologies for this headlight being dim. But um, let me get another light. I can never have enough light. 
Mm. Never have enough light. So let me get this nice cobalt light. So let's go back in it again. Just so you can see. And the, the white paint, that is the weld through primer. <clears throat> and um, I don't know if I'll have to pull this off again. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I will not need to because um, I might just set the welds in tomorrow. <clears throat> and if anybody's asking the question, well, how is the roof skin going to fit in there? Well, that is a very good question. Very, very excellent question. And let me get up here and show and talk. The roof skin will fit in. And if it doesn't quite fit in, I'm going to have to um, expand here or here, or contract it. I'm not quite sure yet. It all depends how it all fits together. You can only do a few pieces at once, and then you go to the next phase and get that done. Um, and when I was putting this together earlier, I started to put this bracket on the inner roof skin, but after looking at the old one, I can see where it was welded and the shape of the lip right here on the new piece, not the old one, on the new one was consistent with the shape of this outer duckbill louver. So I just pulled this back a little bit to go into that place and it fit nicely from this outer panel it fit nicely in here. And if you go back to my roof rot video, let me get in it so it can, if you go in here, you can, you can see that, let me see if I can find it, right here. Okay, let me go back a little bit. And it's really critical. Okay, if you go right here at the tip of my finger, you see how that stepped, that metal. Now, this had me thinking. See how, uh, see how the metal here is stepped. I was wondering why the aftermarket made that that way, but they replicated the original piece right here. And this is... All the devil is in the detail, my friends. And that's just how it was mounted right here. So I'm just following along on the previous videos that show just what is what. And using that as doctrine to, to reference from. So... <clears throat> You know, technology is nice, especially when you can have a tablet. And I have historical um, historical material showing a precedence of <clears throat> this very same work. And I've been looking for other folks on there to um, compare and look what they do and compare it to what I'm doing or, or learning. Um, you know, because I even told the owner on this vehicle, I said, look, this level of work, I've not ever done this before. Um, it's basic metalwork. Well, it's not basic metalwork and stuff. It is metalworking principles applied. Um, and so that's why I'm um, giving him a really good deal on this because I've not done just this before. So it's kind of a tabulation process, running the tab, seeing just how much, how long it takes. But uh, he's all paid up and we're good and he's happy with it. Um, the only thing he's not happy of is, is that I, I'm, I'm, I'm not as fast as he would wish. But that is the way it goes. So um, anyways, friends, 
that's the status on this right now of the 63. Let me pull back a little bit. 62 or 63 Chevrolet pickup truck cab. Um, and there it is. All right, folks. Cheers.